It was just a few days before the Passover festival. In their celebration, the Jews would remember how God had used Moses to lead them to the promised land. They would recall how the blood of the sacrificial lamb had been instrumental in their deliverance from Egyptian bondage. Jerusalem resounded with excitement as Jesus, the celebrated Messiah, entered the city. Shouts of Hosanna and blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord reverberated through the streets. Many had heard about or even witnessed his miracles and the compelling message of salvation, which he had preached with boldness. They proclaimed him as their king, this one sent from heaven, the Holy Lamb of God. Waving palm branches, the joyous crowd celebrated his arrival. In the days that followed his triumphal entry into Jerusalem, Jesus spent time teaching the truths of God. Though many believed, there were skeptics, particularly the religious leaders, who were deeply troubled by his teachings. They began to explore ways that they could rid themselves of this influential fraud. The day soon arrived when Jesus and his disciples were to celebrate the Passover feast when it was customary to sacrifice the Passover lamb. They gathered in an upper room specifically prepared for them. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it. Giving it to his disciples, he said, Take and eat. This is my body, broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered it to them. This is my blood of the covenant poured out for the forgiveness of sins. I will not drink again until the day when I drink it anew in the kingdom of God. Thank you. 
Following the Passover meal, Jesus and his disciples sang a hymn. Then they went to a place called Gethsemane. In anticipation of the events soon to come, he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Going a little further, he fell with his face to the ground and in anguish prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup be taken from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. In the upper room, Jesus had told his disciples that they would fall away following his death. He had told them that he would soon be betrayed by one of their own. Even one of his most devoted followers, Peter, would deny him three times, and the very people he had come to save would reject him. On this darkest of nights, the words of the prophet Isaiah were fulfilled. We like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Jesus, having been betrayed by Judas, had finished praying when he was suddenly surrounded by a host of soldiers and officials from the chief priests and Pharisees. Arrested and bound, he was brought before the high priest and questioned about his disciples and teachings. In a trial filled with mockery and deception, 
Jesus was sentenced to death by crucifixion. After placing a crown of thorns on his head and a purple robe on his shoulders, Jesus was forced to carry his own cross to a place called Golgotha. There, the Son of God was nailed to a cross and lifted up to die a criminal's death. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb where Jesus had been buried. 
There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you're looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay, the angel told them. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. The women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, for Jesus was risen from the dead. Hallelujah! Glory to the risen Lamb! Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms, and when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, that where I am, you may also be. Because of the death and resurrection of Jesus, we who believe shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. The dead will be raised, and we shall be changed. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, grave, where is your sting? Because of the death and resurrection of Jesus, we who believe shall one day join the heavenly hosts in a never-ending hymn of praise. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise.
Thank you.